we played uh, played pretty well. I thought we also had some spurts where we had some substitutions and we had some different lineups. We, we you know we valleyed out, which wasn't a act, you know which wasn't what we wanted. But I thought uh, you know our energy level in spurts was good, and other other times it wasn't. I thought we missed a bunch of easy ones at the rim. Uh, which we have to clean up. We did that the other day also, and I also thought late in the game we didn't rebound the ball like we need to, which is something we need to continue to work on. Rebounding was much better than it was at Ohio, right? Obviously, the competition level is a little different. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we've got to rebound. We've got to pursue the ball. We, we don't pursue the ball like we need to yet. We've got to get that figured out. Phil gave you guys a big boost tonight from behind the yeah, arc. He did, and, and you know, uh, it stretches the defense. Uh, I thought that the guys did a good job of getting him some looks. He had a couple other ones I thought were going down that didn't, but I thought he stretched the defense. It was good to have him back out there, and it was good he'd have to play a ton of minutes. The formula, the style, though, is what you want at least with, I know the energy wasn't always there, but kind of throwing athletes at people a little bit and trying to keep coming after them? Well, I think we, we want to increase the pressure. I, I think with young guys, you know, I, you can see in spurts, and they haven't, they're not used to playing that many, you know, that hard for that long. So we've got a substitute, which we tried to do a little bit today, and I think, I thought Julian's energy in the first half was good. He went and pursued the ball. But, uh, you know, I was also happy that the, the young guys didn't turn the ball over again. That's what we keep talking about with Zach and Reggie, with freshman point guards, make sure they get us a shot every time down. So, happened to your finger before the game? Oh, well, blood, blood or something? Yeah, I dunked, and I had a little scratch, so it kind of opened up. When I hit the rim, nothing too major. It looked, uh, it yeah, looked, didn't look too good. I mean, it's just a lot of blood, but nothing serious, just a little scratch. Apparently, it didn't hurt your shooting touch tonight. It, you yeah. must have felt good out there tonight. Yeah, I did. I mean, I work with my shot a lot. That's that's what I base my game base my game on. So I'm always trying to trying to shoot open shots and hope they go in. Julian, how are the young guys coming along? You, there seems to be some pretty good flows. I, mean, you know, Joe mentioned some valleys and stuff, but there were some pretty good flows in this game tonight. I thought. Yeah, I points. think they're coming along uh, well. I mean, from the start of the season, preseason, I think everyone's just advancing. You know, Rajon, Reggie, Zach, everyone's just getting better and better. You know, I like it a lot. Do you feel like you guys have like kind of a, a, a an array of bodies that you can just kind of keep coming at people once you get it all going the way you want? I mean, we definitely have that, you know, that's, you know, uh, counting to the coaches recruiting, you know, always having guys that come out and, you know, be ready to play. And, and when, like I learned this summer, um, you always got to know your time. And if we just keep teaching these guys, you know, be ready, be ready. And we'll always have, you know, play play hard for three minutes and then you'll be your turn. Joe, another good, we didn't get to see it uh, at Ohio, but watching Simmons today, watching Trey today. Yeah, he, he missed really a bunch of, he, he missed a bunch of chippies today. He, he, he finishes better around the rim than he did today, which, I mean, it, the guys are going to have that. I, I thought that, you know, but you still get 13 and 6 out of them. The other day, you know, on a couple hours notice, you get almost a double-double out of them. Uh, you know, it, he'll continue to get better. I mean, it, it'll help him having to play against Patson every day in practice, and then hopefully here soon we'll get Meech back. So. I think he's one of those guys that'll be is as effective in, in limited minutes. Not that his minutes are going to be limited, but he could be just as effective playing less and not getting so strong out here early. And, and same thing, Kevin Mickle needs minutes, and so all, all those young guys. Ray needs minutes. They, we just need to figure some of these things out. I don't know if y'all were wondering, but I was kind of wondering what the attendance might be like. You know, different faces, so many different faces and stuff. And I, I thought it was a pretty good show. Great tonight. crowd. What, great, you think? great crowd. Monday night. You know. NAIA game, and I, you know, I think that's a tribute to our fans, and uh, I think, you know what, it's, uh, uh, I, they've been very supportive. Same for, for you, Julian. Yeah, it makes me proud to be be here at FGCU, knowing that, you know, the guys that, you know, had their face of the program, they're gone now, but the fans are still coming out. It just makes me want to play even harder, and I'm going to just relay that to the team. Uh, we hear good stuff about Meech, uh, coming along on schedule pretty good now. What's, uh, what's, yeah, it's what's good to have like? him back out. You know, he's, he's not able to practice yet, but he can do some things moving around, and it's, it's good to have him back out. And I think with the other thing he does, he just provides another level of athleticism around the rim. He protects the basket. Uh, when balls are around the rim, people are always conscientious when he's running to the rim. And I think he and Trey offset each other pretty well because they're different types of players. How soon might he come back? What would what would be? There's almost no protocol uh, as far as there's not like a, you know ACL. You have this, this, and this. This mm -hmm. is a little bit different deal. So we just continue to send him to the doctor, have him evaluate it, and see uh, make sure there's no soreness. He doesn't regress and continue to pro progress as he as he gets better. What's up? 
What's it like from both a playing standpoint and a coaching standpoint to be all ready to go at a certain time, have your routine, and then kind of have that delay there in the beginning? It's, it, it takes the energy out of the I think it out of the building, in all honesty. I mean, I think it, it, the fans are waiting. They're, you know, we, you know, here we go. You know, the, the players, you're out of a routine. And I think players are in routine, coaches are in routines, but that, that's you have to adjust on the fly. There's weird things that happen, as you know. And you know, the, when the rule first came out that you could dunk in warmups, we were all sitting there waiting to see how long it takes for someone to do that, and <laughs> it happens. Is okay. that what happened tonight? I yes. was actually outside. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Little. Different type of competition coming up Friday or Saturday than Sunday. Yeah, than Youngst Monday. What do you Youngstown think played had a real good game with Kent. I mean, they, they, they the, it was a very good team in the MAC. I mean, so they've they've got a big kid from down here in Florida. It's a very good player. They've got added some pieces, uh, a couple transfers. Uh, you know, playing a little bit differently than they have, and uh, you know, we'll practice tomorrow, and then we'll practice. We we'll give them off Wednesday. We'll practice Thursday and Friday. Get ready for this weekend. What do you think about the three games and three nights? You kind of like that, don't you? I know it's very. I think it's early in the season. I think it's good for us because it'll allow us to work on a bunch of things. You'll see varied styles of play. Uh, you'll have to rely on your principles. We have to rely on that. And then you know, I think the the young guys will understand uh, what it's like to play tired, because at this point, you know, you're going to be tired. That's part of it. But then you got to figure out how to play through being tired. You looking forward to that, Julian? That three game swing. I'm looking forward. It's another another uh, opportunity to get more wins. You know, that's what we, that's what we're working for. Just want to keep winning. Philip, same thing. I I love playing games. It's every game. Every game is going to give us something new. Every game is a different team. So every game we're going to uh, hopefully teach something out of it and improve in next game. So more games, the better. You know, it, guys love to play. That's why we're here. So I I'm ready for it. You were uh, three for nine at Ohio for on three pointers. Just uh, were you just at all a little bit uncomfortable? Maybe just the first game at all, or I mean, I wasn't comfortable. I'm always I'm always confident in, in my shot. It's just like on some nights the ball's not gonna go in. So even the best shooters always say that you know there are some nights the ball just don't go in. But I just gotta keep shooting. Can't go hard on myself. Like can't break my head over the fact that I missed a couple of shots. You just gotta come out next time and shoot with the same confidence you shot before. And Joe Phillip uh, getting, you know, getting the three pointers for you, but he does. You happy with the other parts of his game? I mean, I th we're better today, and I thought, you know, Phillip, he's going to shoot the. He's got, he's got the green light to shoot it when he's open. But we talked about the other things. He's got to defend. He's got to help us rebound. He's got to be a, a defender that helps us because with his length, those type of things, he's got to do. He's got to be more than a shooter, and that, that's something I think he's worked on. I think that's something he's got to continue to get better at. But uh, when he's open, we want him to shoot the ball. Same thing with Julian. Anything else? How good did it feel just to be back, playing in front of the crowd at the Lico? It's amazing. Uh, I mean, after the whole year of just sitting out, you know, I, I couldn't wait for that moment uh, to be back on the court, and it felt amazing tonight. You know, it kind of gave me that that feeling again that I had a year and a half ago. So, amazing. That's the word I would describe it with. <laughs>